Well, today is one of those cold winter days when the wind cuts right through you. But that did not stop people from braving the whipping winds in Ocean City. We found a few people soaking up the sunshine on the sand down the shore. Don't look now, but Memorial Day weekend just four months away. <laughs> No That's time at all. Time. <laughs> For an hour date. Okay. It's right around the corner. <laughs> yeah, blink oh. and it's here, right? Yes. <laughs> we are talking about the bitter cold, Jessica. It doesn't feel anything like Memorial Day weekend is anytime soon, and even more so next week as we watch the possibility of some snow to finish out January and kick off February with a bang. Here's a look outside right now. Tonight is dry. It's a cold, cold night, though. You know, if you've stepped outside at all today, just how cold it was. And not only is it cold, the wind Wind makes it feel so much worse. So 30 degrees right now. But look at these wind gusts 32 miles an hour in the city. Sustained winds at about 21 miles an hour. That's making our 30 feel like 17. And all across the region, the wind is doing the heavy lifting here tonight. Wind gusts are upwards of 25 miles per hour, 30 miles an hour there in Atlantic City, 32 miles per hour in Mount Pocono. And that's why your feels like temperatures are running a good 15 to 20 degrees below the actual temperature in some spots. Storm scan three dry for now, but this picture is going to look a little bit different. A prolonged system heading our way Sunday through Tuesday. An area of low pressure moving in from the west, transferring energy to the coast on Monday and then departing on Tuesday. It's a slow moving system, but even if snow falls lightly through that time, because it's such a prolonged system, it can lightly, gradually pile up a bit as we head into the start of next week. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Tonight, 19, passing clouds, dangerously cold. Our feels like temperatures when you wake up tomorrow morning, brutal. Six is what it will feel like in Philadelphia, three in Allentown. It'll feel like nine below zero in Mount Pocono upon rising tomorrow. Definitely a day where you may be thankful if you're working from home. Maybe you've been thinking, man, I just want to get out of the house. Tomorrow, you're not really going to want to get out of the house too much. It is cold, 29 degrees, feeling like the teens, even at the height of the afternoon with the wind. So let's take a look at our model comparison. I promised you this last half hour. Now we've got a little more time to do it. This is Sunday evening. So this first is the GFS model. Snow may arrive as early as Sunday morning, mainly in the form of flurries, some light snow into Sunday night, possibly a couple of inches here. What the GFS does is bring a little bit warmer air in Monday morning as the system moves through. Now this latest run is a little bit colder than the last one. It is starting to trend a bit colder, but you can see Monday morning it's a mix in the city, rain to the south. But here's what I want you to look at. Monday evening, the coastal low begins to deepen, and this is when we get into a period of steady snow before it gradually tapers and quickly tapers on Tuesday. So city storm timing, snow begins on Sunday, light early, then mainly picking up in the evening hours. Monday may start with a mix, but the brunt of this storm looks to be Monday evening with some steady snow likely. Tuesday, the end of the storm, still some lingering light snow and flurries tapering off throughout the course of the day. So what's still up in the air? How much snow? How much mixing? How much will that hold down the totals? How quickly the snow can begin when very, very dry air is in place? But Monday afternoon and Monday evening, that's the time to really put a put an asterisk on the calendar there, Yuki, because it looks like like that's going to be the brunt of this next system. Monday. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll Kate, be here. Thank you. That's right. <laughs>